everyone, so I'm going to be doing an After Effects tutorial today, and it's a voice tutorial because without it, it'd be impossible to explain everything, so yes, anyway. So we're going to be creating a new composition, and if you want, you can just hit Control N on your keyboard to bring this dialogue box up. Um, we're going to be doing, well, I'm going to be doing 1920 by 1080 um, with a frame rate of 25, um, and a duration of one second because this is only an effect I don't really need it any longer. So I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to right click on this area and go to new solid and I'm going to be using this green because it's cute and whatever. And then I'm going to be going to new again and creating a new shape layer and with this one I'm going to click the drop down arrow, click add and add in a lisp path to it also a fill. And I'm going to change the colour of the fill because that's a really bad colour. Um, I just want to contrast it. So yeah, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to have an orange colour. And I'm going to resize it so that it's nice and, you know, stuff. Yeah, that should work. Okay, so once you've got that, um, click on transform, and then I'm going to be hitting the stopwatch on scale, going forward five frame, well, then creating another keyframe, but going back to start and choosing, well, resetting it to zero, and then I like 20 frames. I'm gonna be putting it to 110 percent and then I'm going to reset it back to zero. So now that we have those, you can see that it, the movement's not really that interesting. You can leave it like that as you want, if you want, but you know, if you want to change the way it animates on screen, um, you can, for there's like an icon you know, next to the stopwatch, and you click that. You know, and what that's basically going to do is show the keyframes in the graph editor. And as you can see, you know, it's very linear, you know, the movement is very, you know, linear and it's not really interesting. So I'm going to change all of these keyframes to something called Auto Bezier. And it's basically going to make it like a curved graph instead of a straight graph. Um, Okay, now I'm going to drag these points so that they're more curvy and, you know, make it look a lot better. Um, you know, you can alter, you know, the size as well, so be careful. So now when I, you know, scrub through it, it looks a lot more snappier. Like, you know, and if I do an RAM preview, it seems to like swing back and forth on your screen. So it's a lot better. You don't have to do the graph editor, but I would recommend it if you know you want your animation to be a lot, you know, smoother, and snappier, and look a lot more interesting on screen. So after you've done that, you can leave it like that if you want. But then, you know. If you want like the exploding lines around it, like you know, some people like to have, create a new shape layer, go off the graph editor, and I'm just gonna, you know, tell After Effects to, you know, discount those keyframes from the graph editor now. And, you know, you're basically gonna click on that shape layer, and click on the pen tool, and choose somewhere like, above the circle, kind of like centric and hold down shift and press, well, make a new point. And there should, all, there should already be a stroke on there, but it's very thin. So go to contents, shape one, stroke one, and change the stroke width. I'm gonna have that at like 14, 13, yeah, 13 pixels. After you've done that, you can change stroke color as well. I'm going to have it the same colour as my um, circle shape thing. Um, 
and now we're going to add something called trim paths to it and then I'm gonna basically start it at like five frames okay now what you want to do is change the start to 100% and click the stopwatch and then you know I'm gonna go for over like 15 frames and change it to zero then I'm gonna go back to 10 frames click the stopwatch on end and then have it go out at 20 so change that to zero and it's basically it's basically like you know, follow on sort of thing then I'm gonna select these keyframes and well, I'm gonna tell After Effects to show them in the graph editor like always and change my tool to the selection tool you can find the toolbox like up here and then I'm gonna change it all the keyframes again to auto bezier and then I'm just gonna alter you know graph because as I said you know the movement's very linear it's not very exciting so I'm just gonna change it because why the hell not <laughs> so after you've done that you know you can scrub through it and well you can build an array and preview put it all together and you know it looks all right I'm kind of happy with it, but now, you know, we want, you know, the line to go all around the circle, but you want there to be lines around the whole circle. So what we're going to do is select the layer with the line on it, hit R, and then Alt click the stopwatch, and there should be an expression box that pops up, and in it you're going to type index. Um, asterisk 360 slash 20 and what that should do is basically have your line at a slant um, but then basically hit control D until the lines are around the circle and you know they all just appear and go at the same time, you know, you can, you know, drag the layers, you know, forward, backwards, as you wish, to make it, you know, look a lot better and stuff. But, you know, that's your preference, not mine, so do whatever you want with this. But afterwards, once you've messed around a bit, hit, well, make sure, like, you know, shape layer 21 is selected or you know the highest layer then you know hold down shift and control and click on shape layer 1 this will select the whole of them and then you right click on them and click pre-compose and you can name that whatever you want I'm just going to call it lines just as of convenience and what it basically does is merges like the layers together so it's a lot more cleaner and you know you won't have to deal with tons and tons of layers and that's basically it so i hope you enjoy this and don't forget to subscribe okay so bye